Well, as the Black Friday madness winds down, a lot of retailers started a new trend this year and offered those early bird specials even earlier. Many stores opened at midnight, some were even open on Thanksgiving Day. News 8's Pauline Lee takes us a closer look at whether this could be the new trend. For many people, Thanksgiving is a time to relax. Just hang out, meet people. And that is, until midnight. Have a good time. Naylor Guy got a head start on his holiday shopping list this year. He waited in line as Target's first Black Friday customer since 2.30 Thanksgiving afternoon. But he wasn't the only one. Alex Shaker stood right behind him figuring out his game plan for when the clock struck 12. Run as fast as possible, but apparently they're handing out tickets for the hot items today, so I won't have to run. Today's like the big event. It's our Super Bowl, so pretty exciting. Places like Target, Kohl's, and Best Buy decided to open their doors even earlier this year. And so far, Target's team leader says it's proving to be a success. From the guests, a lot of them are really excited and happy. They're able to just stay up a little bit later than they usually do instead of going to bed earlier so that they can wake up early enough to come stand in line. So all have been surprisingly really, really positive. Valley View Mall didn't officially open their doors until 5 a.m. Friday morning. However, some stores followed the new trend and opened up shop at midnight, too. It's been a very interesting day. This is the first time we've had stores open at midnight, and um, we've had several waves where we were really busy from the get-go, and then before 3 to 4, it kind of slowed down, and then 5 o'clock, we hit another running peak again. But it wasn't so much the retailers that benefited from opening early. The food stores and the coffee stores that were open early um, really benefited. I think our uh, pretzel makers ran out of dough before so many people getting that late night snack and refueling for um, Black Friday shopping. And what happened to Guy, you may ask? Well, I got a couple more to go to, so. He was just getting started. I'm going to be on the run. Reporting in on Alaska, Pauline Lee, News 8. So let's take a closer look at the numbers.